Bengals vs. Ravens. Are the Bengals a legit playoff team? What is up? We are back. Welcome to the channel, guys. I'm David, and this is Know It All. If you're new to the channel, this is a sports radio show that I do with my best friend, Joey. So let's get right into it. Last night, the Cincinnati Bengals hosted the Baltimore Ravens in Thursday Night Football. Both teams came into this matchup with big Week 1 victories, with the Bengals getting a solid victory over the Colts in Week 1, and the Baltimore Ravens looking solid in their first outing at home against the Buffalo Bills. So as you guys know, I had the Bengals coming into this game. Uh, I made a video about this the other day. You can actually check that out. The link will be in the description. I actually did a preview on the whole week two and all my picks that I think are going to actually win the game. So let's get into this one. To kick things off, the Ravens got the ball first, and Joe Flucco, I mean Flacco, threw an interception right on the first possession. Go figure. Then after that, the floodgates opened. All of a sudden, the Bengals came out with such intensity Andy Dalton was unstoppable. He found A.J. Green three times in the end zone in that first half. Back to back to back. It was 21-0 before the Ravens even saw anything coming. Now, I thought the Bengals were going to take this one, and I thought they were going to take it pretty decently, but I did not think they'd get a 21-0 to start that game, especially with the Ravens with such a great defense that they had. Honestly, shout out to C.J. Mosley. I hope he's okay. He got cut off the field. I'm not 100% sure what happened, but I know that injury didn't look very good, and hopefully he's healthy for the rest of the season. The Ravens simply don't have enough on offense. The Alex Collins, to me, is overrated. He's a local guy from Plantation, Florida, so I got to root for him, but I just don't think he's all that in the NFL. The receiving core is... Honestly, below average in my opinion, and Flacco is a run-of-the-mill quarterback at this point. I know he had a success, and he got hot in that playoff run, and he won a Super Bowl, but ever since then, he's been average at best. So again, I don't think the Ravens have enough offensively to be anything this season. Low-key, though, their best offensive weapon is the kicker. Now back to the Bengals. I really like them this year. I think they're very different. I think that committing to the run with Joe Mixon, getting him 20 plus carries per game, really controlling the clock and committing to the run game really helps them in the long run. AJ Green is hit or miss. Honestly, with fantasy, he drives me insane. One game, he'll have three touchdowns like last night, and then in the next game, he'll have four catches for 30 yards. Very inconsistent fantasy-wise. I do still think he's a top five wide receiver, but man, is he frustrating fantasy. But when you have a solid quarterback like Andy Dalton, and I believe that he is an average quarterback, maybe a little bit above average, but you can win a Super Bowl with that. We saw last year with the Eagles with Nick Foles. They were able to win a Super Bowl with not an elite quarterback. So in my opinion, the Bengals, with Andy Dalton being average, maybe a little above average, let me know in the comments what you think about him. Um, along with committing to the run with Joe Mixon and having a big guy on the side with A.J. Green drawing attention, it opens up lanes for the tight end that had a couple catches last night and also all other wide receivers like Boyd. Boyd actually had more receptions and more yards last night than A.J. Green. So again, it opens up the offense when you commit to the run and you got a big playmaker on the outside and you got a, a good quarterback that can distribute the ball around, I definitely think the Bengals are an underrated team and watch for them to somewhat make a playoff run. But to keep things into perspective, the Bengals did beat the Colts and they did beat the Ravens. Two teams that I think for the most part people don't think they're going to make the playoffs. So at the end of the day, how good are the Bengals? Can they make the playoffs or are they going to miss the playoffs? What do you guys think? Honestly, I think they'll make the playoffs in the AFC just for the sheer fact that the AFC is not that strong this year. Who knows what's going to happen with the, with the Steelers. I don't think the Ravens are going to be in contention, and I don't think the Browns are. So it's going to be the Steelers versus the Bengals to see who gets that playoff spot. And maybe the Steelers or the Bengals could sneak into the wild card. At the end of the day, I do think the Bengals are going to go to the playoffs, but again, it's the Bengals. They'll probably lose in the first playoff game. Honestly, overall, I was impressed with the Bengals. Hopefully, they can amount to something this season. All right, know-it-alls. With that, I am signing off. Make sure if you're liking these videos, leave a like. Make sure you comment down below. And if you like the content, give a subscription for us. We really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Have a great one. Good luck to all you guys on Sunday.